Can you take a loan from a 401k? And a better question, should you take a loan from your 401k? We'll answer those questions straight ahead. First, is it even possible? Does your 401k plan offer loans? Most do, but they're not required to. You can log into your 401k's online access and probably find out there, or call the plan provider and ask. If a loan is available, your next question should be, should I take one? We'll review the pros and cons of a 401k loan to help you make that decision. First, some basics. If your plan offers loans and you've concluded that's what you need to do to solve your financial issue, how much can you borrow? The most you can borrow is 50% of your vested balance or $50,000, whichever is less. Vested means the portion of your account that belongs to you. There may be some of the company matching money that isn't truly yours yet because you haven't been with the company long enough. Let's say your 401k balance is $140,000. Half would be $70,000, but that exceeds $50,000. The most you could borrow in that case would be $50,000. If your balance was $70,000, you could borrow up to $35,000. Remember, it's half or $50,000, whichever is less. There is an exception if your 50% is less than $10,000. You could borrow up to $10,000. For example, you've got a $14,000 balance, 50% is $7,000. That's less than the $10,000, so you could borrow up to $10,000. The usual payback time frame is five years. You're paying back your money to yourself, plus interest. Generally, it's a fair interest rate, prime plus one or two percent. A minor downside is the interest gets taxed twice. You're paying the interest with money you've already paid tax on. You'll be taxed again when you take the money out in retirement. The principal repayment is considered money you've already taken a deduction on, so you're not really paying tax twice on that. Paying the loan back is easy. Payments are taken right out of your paycheck, so you won't even have to consider it or think about it. They're on automatic pilot, just like when you're making contributions. Some plans don't allow new contributions while you have an outstanding loan. If that's the case, you'd be missing out on all the tax benefits of contributing to a 401k and all the free money your employer may have added as matching money. And that can really hurt. Make sure you know the rules of your plan regarding contributions when you have a loan. Another potentially massive cost of a 401k loan is the opportunity cost. The opportunity to participate in the growth of your investments. While not guaranteed, over a five-year time period, you'd likely see an increase in your 401k funds. The money you borrow is no longer in the 401k and working for you. Although you're making payments and that money is working for you once it's repaid to the plan, the bulk of the loan is missing from your 401k in the early going. All right, what happens to your loan if you no longer work for that company? I know, you love your job and think you'll never leave. You probably said that about your last job too. What if you get an offer you can't refuse? Or your employer says your services are no longer needed? You're not only out of a job, you've got an outstanding loan and you're required to pay it back now or nearly now. 60 days was the old limit, but the Tax Cut and Jobs Act of 2017 extended the payback period to your tax filing deadline, including extensions. You can repay the loan to the plan or roll it over to another retirement account. Sounds good, but you've still got to come up with the money to pay it off in a lump sum. Otherwise, it's considered a taxable distribution and if you're younger than 59 and a half, a 10% penalty may also apply. Knowing the 401k loan option is there is nice to, to know if, in case you have a financial jam. It's a way to solve an immediate financial need. You're paying yourself back at a reasonable interest rate. There's no credit check to acquire the loan, 
and the turnaround time to get money in your pocket is usually pretty quick. The drawback is any money removed from your 401k is money that's not in the plan and potentially growing. You're missing out on potential investment returns. And there's that little double tax situation on the interest paid. And if you leave the job, the loan is due or you're subject to tax and penalties. Ideally, you'd have an emergency fund built up to cover expenses and not have to take a 401k loan. But in real life, we know that's not always the case. Other sources of cash could be a home equity loan or a home equity line of credit. I wouldn't want to put my home on the line if I got jammed up and I couldn't make the loan payments. Other people are entirely comfortable doing that, so it's an option. If I didn't have an emergency fund but I had a Roth IRA, that would be my go-to. The contributions made to a Roth are available without tax or penalty. You can't tap any of the growth, though, without some potential tax and penalty implications there. And if you're up against the wall, a 401k hardship withdrawal could be an option. We'll look at 401k hardship withdrawals in another episode. Think of a 401k loan as a financial tool. Tool is neither good nor bad, it's just a tool. It's how you use it that makes it so. So, make sure you're using a 401k loan for a good reason.